That's right, like the brothers going into, man. For the brothers, you know, for guys that's in this so called proclaiming themselves to be in this truth, man, it's time to step it up, man. Because the, the Most High is drawing the line in the sand, man. And he's going to cast out the guys that's not taking this thing uh, sincerely and doing this, you know, with all their strength, you know? Okay. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sighed and cried for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. That's right. And it says, it says, go through the through the city of Jerusalem. And we all know that uh, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. And that mark is not talking about the same mark that it's talking about in Revelations, Karagma. It's actually talking about the, the, the true understanding and the knowledge of this word. Which, you know, when it all is said and done, you know, only the elect is going to persevere and come out of this thing, you know, with salvation, you know? Go ahead. Uh-huh. Uh, so, it said a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sign and that cry for the abomination that be done in the midst thereof. That's right. And to, and to the others, he said, in my hearing, go after him through the, uh, through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, That's and right. begin in my sanctuary. Right, so the, the judgment of the judgment of the most high is gonna begin with his own people, man. And the scripture says, uh set the mark upon the forehead of the men that sign cry for the abominations. Like the brother was going into earlier, you know, not the guys that think doing this work is burdensome, but the guys who's really fed up with this place. And hastening the day to see our Lord and Savior come back and deliver us, man. That's who the mark, you know, is going to be set upon those men. And to the others, the scripture says smite. And smite is to kill. Uh, get Jeremiah 16 and 16. So, judgment is going to be begin with the house, the, the, the sanctuary of the Most High. And chiefly, guys, that's proclaiming to be in this truth, man. Go ahead. Revelation chapter 3 verse 15 I know thy works that thou art neither cold nor hot That's right So the Most High knows you Your works whether you know you cold or hot So guys that's bullshitting You know not really getting on a level Not really just giving it all in this truth man The Most High know your heart He knows your mind man Go ahead I would thou work <coughs> so like I would thou work cold or hot so then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. That's right. So the Most High is drawing a line in the sand. It's gonna come a time where you guys are gonna have to make a decision, man. Either to follow the Most High wholeheartedly, or man, or just going back in the world. Right. And for you niggas that's watching us, man, too, or and been watching for quite some time, get your ass out on these highways and byways and teach this word, man. Or you might as well just go on about your little menial life, man. Or you gonna get spewed out anyway. That's right. That's it. Hey, if I can say right. this real quick, that's also talking about the people that are behind the signs in the that's camps. Right. If you're not trying to do it full speed ahead, then go ahead and, and kick it with your old lady or go ahead and do what you got to do. Yep. It's no point just hanging around because all you just, you just dead weight for everybody. Right. You just dead weight. You like a heavy ass bag. That's and right. we all, we all wandering in the wilderness with these heavy ass bags. And all of a sudden, somebody says, well, hey, man, check that bag and see, let me see what's in that bag. Man, wait. And it ain't shit in there, but what are you going to do with that bag? Empty cans, yeah. You're going to throw that shit to the side. You're going to say, man, why didn't we do this before? Yep. The most high, the spirit of the most high is, doing, got, is going got, through that got, process right now. Though. What he just said. Go ahead. Uh, Hebrews chapter 6, verse 1. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go unto perfection. And some of y'all, the main ones, the main ones. When if something comes up about a woman, you're the main one with scriptures in your hand. Yep. I got 15 precepts. But you're the same dudes that's caught up under your woman. Yep. You left the doctrine. Go ahead, bro. That's right. 
uh, let us go unto perfection, not laying again the foundations of repentance from Come, dead works. Let's, let's do perfection. And we can't do it with dead weight. So Jake about to start getting kicked up out of there. That's right. You saw one dude last weekend came wandering up like a lost dog. That was last weekend, right? Yeah, yeah. I think wandering up like a lost dog. Don't nobody care. You want it? Go get it. Now, I can see 10 corners within eyesight right now. This corner is occupied. You can't be here. Right. And it's about to start being a lot of brothers in that same position. Go ahead. That's start, right, start man. From the top. Because it. the Most High doesn't need any of us, man. We do this with faith and hope that the Most High is going to show us salvation, man. That's why, you know, like we was going into in the sit down, man, you got to give diligence to make your call in an election sure, man. You can't be pussyfooting and half-assing in this thing, man. The Most High knows your heart, man. And he's going to start weeding out, man, to where it's just going to be the, 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 the true men. That's right. He's already doing it. He's already doing it. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Uh, verse 4. For it is impossible for those who were once, once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were partakers of the Holy Ghost and have tasted the good work of God and the powers of the uh, world to come, if they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucify to themselves the Son of God afresh. And like the brother just said, that nigga j -Dog came up the, the other week. He tasted of the heavenly gift of this word of the knowledge of the heavenly Father. And now he's back in the world. So yeah, that's just like asking the Lord to go back on the cross exactly. again, man. Which he's not going to do that. Yeah, the Lord ain't going to do that for you, man. He ain't going to do that for you, man. Nope. That's just like the brother was saying. You either anything or you're not. That's right. You know? That right there. Uh, start at five. Two and five. Second Timothy chapter two, verse five. No matter of fact, hold on. Second Timothy, Second Timothy 2 verse 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of your house Mashiach. That's right. The scriptures say endure hardness as a soldier. And that word soldier means like a uh, solitary. You're gonna be uh, alone pretty much, you know, in this thing, you know. Your family gonna come against you, your woman gonna come against you. But the scriptures say endure that hardness as a soldier of, of Yahweh Shah. Because Yahweh Shah, look at all the suffering that he went through. You know, as he was leading up to being crucified on the cross. That's right. And the servant is not greater than the master. That's right. So we're going to have to endure suffering too, man, as a soldier. Go ahead. No man that warreth entangled himself with the affairs of this life. That's right. And brothers, the sincere brothers, man, that's out here preaching this word, man, this is a spiritual warfare that we're in too, you know? That's right. This is a spiritual battle. And it says no man that warreth entangle himself with the affairs of this world. That's right. Because you got guys that's so-called in the truth, man, that's still hanging out with niggas in the world, man. That's right. And that's right. bullshit, man. If I can add something to what you're saying, which one of y'all's woman is, is pushing y'all to go ahead and keep, hey, make sure you read tonight. Make sure you go over uh, <laughs> Daniel's 11 tonight. Sure. Make sure you go over Do you know the Hebrew? Hebrew? Let's go over it. Which one of y'all woman is doing that? Which one of these niggas in the world is like, you know what, hey man, I'll help you go over there, Hebrew. I'll hold up some flashcards and help you get that done. They not doing that. So, so how are you getting caught up? Them niggas don't love you. The world don't love you. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. That he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. That's right. So the, the verse ahead say, no man that war can tangle himself with the affairs of the world, which that places the Most High. Because the Most High said also that the friendship of the world, what is enmity. Love not the world, neither the things therein, like the brother said. You know, the Lord said you either for him or against him, you know. You can't play it both ways, man. Go ahead. And if a man also strive for the masteries, yet he yet is he not crowned except he strive lawfully. That's right. So if we're trying to strive for the masteries within this truth, man, we got to strive lawfully, man. Because like it says in Edwards, man, when it comes time for Yahweh Shah to pass out crowns, man, the, the crowns are only for the elect, the men that strive lawfully. But you guys that was out there bullshit, man, and half-assing, man, 
And I'm talking about guys that's in these camps, man, including us, man. Me too. We're, none of us are exempt, man, from the judgment of the Most High. We all got to do more, man. We got to get better, man. Go ahead. This is Revelations 2, verse 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end, to him will I give power over the nations. That's right. It says that he that endureth and keepeth my works until the end. Not preaching for six or seven years and then taking a three-month hiatus. He that endureth and keepeth my works until the end shall be, uh, what did it say? Shall have power over the nations. Shall have power over the nations. That's right. So... Only the men that endure and, and you know and keep the things that are written therein and keep you know pushing this word, you know, in, in diligence and in faith, only those men are gonna have that, that 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 privilege, you know, of having power over these nations in the kingdom. James chapter four, verse four. Ye adulterers and adulteress, know ye not the friendship of the world is is intimate. Like it's enmity with God. That's right. So the, so the Most High is not pleased with a guy who's all caught up in this world, man. Because, like we read in uh, 2 Timothy 2, no man that warred entangle himself in, in the affairs of the world because the world's going to always get you trapped up. 